So, when we last recorded together, uh, we were just talking that we had just bought tickets to see Les Mis. Mm -hmm. So I find it rather fitting that now we have just seen Les Mis and yeah. we're recording again. Not so on the Broadway, but the touring our version Broadway. of Broadway. It's it's official Broadway, but hey, we'll bring it to Houston for you. Yeah, ya. it uh, was awesome. Yeah, like, did you cry? Uh, yes, like a constant, like like a constant tear, and I had to have like a little. Yeah, nap, like, Master of the House does that to me too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's gonna be so loud. <laughs> Sorry if I just like blew out your ears. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was really really good. Everyone was great. Valjean and Javert were really good. Okay, but if I had water in my mouth, that would have just like sprayed everywhere. That would have been a legitimate <laughs> that spit was, take. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, but we are not here to talk about Les Mis. Uh, we Aww. are here to listen to music from a different musical. Uh, Has been Hotel is here, and I want to start off by asking you how good or bad have I been about like fan brain dumping about the show. Um, like what you've talked about or what I've actually like processed. What I've, what I've talked about. What I've attempted to I talk about. I tune out a lot of what you say. Um, That's true. What was the question? <laughs> See, she even tuned that out right here. Uh, I was going to say, how good have I been or bad have I been about just like watching an episode being like, oh my God, this, blah, 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 all I the mean, things. you definitely haven't spoiled any music. Like you've definitely said like, I'm not going to talk to you about that, but. Because I knew this was coming. But like, I mean, as far as like compared to like other things I've watched, like I feel like I've been pretty good about just not listening. Oh, and then this happened and then that happened. And no, then this happened. no. I think you, I think you know that I'm like, cool. <laughs> well, partially also I knew that this was coming. Uh, I did, you know, I mentioned that I wanted to record this video because when we did the ha uh, Hell of a Boss, you know how confusing it is to say Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel? Wait, they this is Hell of a Boss, right? This is Has Been Hotel. Dang it! <laughs> See? It's confusing, isn't it? They both start with H, they're both by the same creator, they're both set in hell. This is the one that has like a little hootie, right? And like the owl and <laughs> No! The... <laughs> Just kidding. The girl who lives in New York who has the yeah. pet dinosaur? That's Moon Girl. Yes. Uh, but no, uh, this, you know, when we did the music of Hell of a Boss, uh, that video did really, really well. So I knew I wanted to do this again with you, especially since this is a more musical focused show. It's structured more like a musical. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to do it. And I'm, I intended to do just one of these videos, but uh, we are just doing music from the first half because the music has been so damn good that we are going to, we're going to make two videos. All right, let's do it. Okay, you're like, you're like, fuck it. The sooner, we the sooner we finish this one, the sooner we can get to the second one. Um, so as of right now, just as we're recording this, I've only seen through episode five. Uh, so we are going to be going through just the first four episodes here. So I, I, I've heard Jeremy Jordan is Lucifer, but she won't be hearing that today. Hey, am I going to cry? No, absolutely not. Okay. Um, that may be for the second half, but, oh. uh, uh, no, but I've, I've curated, uh, there's two songs per episode and I've curated what I feel are pretty much the top four, uh, with one exception. Uh, I did not include one of Angel Dust's songs, which I think is really, really good, but it's also really heavy, like depressing. Like metal? Much. No, like, like, like abuse and, oh. and. Yeah, it's 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 rough, but it's 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 a really good song. But we're not doing that today. Uh, but I've picked what I think is a pretty good curation of four songs. Uh, so before we begin, what do you remember from the Has Been Hotel pilot? Do you remember any characters? Yes, the little the little guys. The eggs. The eggs. <laughs> Jay, she remembers us. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember. I was like, who's your favorite character? You were like, egg. Um, I remember that. It's the daughter of Lucifer. Yes, and her name is Sarah. <laughs> Lucy. Charlie. Charlie. Yes, Charlie. Um, um I remember The Radio Demon. Yeah, there's like a hotel. <laughs> yes, there is. Uh, but she is specifically she's trying to redeem sinners to get them into heaven because the angels come down once a year to do a massacre. Of sinners because hell is overpopulated. Okay. So that's that's kind of the general purpose. So uh, I've kind of picked. I needed to kind of refresh your head on that because the first two we're going to listen to are both from the first episode and they're kind of like big starting numbers for the show. Uh, the, the closest description I have for this one, this first song is called Why Why am I blanking on the title so hard? This sucks. <laughs> uh, Happy Day in Hell. Uh, and this this was released as uh, kind of a single before I heard like the first half of the song when they first released it before the show came out uh and then the show happened and oh hey uh, but the closest thing i have to describe to this is it's kind of like bell from beauty and the beast 
the old provincial town. There goes that girl. She's so peculiar. You know, that one. Mm-hmm. Whatever. You're losing me. Uh, okay, so this is pretty much a Charlie centric one and i'm gonna talk about who the actor is before the song starts and not during because everyone got mad at me last time because i kept talking about who the actor was during the song uh, but charlie is played by erica henningsen who mm-hmm. is probably most famous for playing the lead role in mean girls the musical on broadway mm-hmm. her voice is very very good uh so this is kind of the we're gonna watch a little bit that leads right into the first song uh but this this is it so here goes my dad just called. He said that the leader of the Angel Army wants to meet. He asked if I could go instead. But, but the extermination just happened. What could they want this soon? After I can do this. She goes straight into the music. I know it. I'll get heaven behind my plan. Charlie, hold on. Doesn't she sound just like a Disney princess? Oh yeah. Something tells me that today will be a happy day in hell. Okay. It's pretty catchy. Like, isn't the melody pretty good? Oh, she's dancing. Uh, no. Every street's so revealing, it's hard not to stare. It's yep. I love how positive she is despite everything, like, just kind of really sucks. Well, this is happy to her. Oh, this is the norm. Go fuck yourself. It's the norm, right? I love that we get kind of the chorus of everybody saying like, yo, things suck actually, she's Delulu. Vaggy does that a lot. She like does that Broadway thing where she reaches. On a stoop. Yes. Or not a stoop, but a... A crow's nest. From the porn studio where the cinephones go to watch a war. <laughs> I never knew that was the line. This is the first time I'm watching this with the subtitles on. And I don't give a crow that his brain's got in my uh, ha, ha. <laughs> She might need to get that looked at. I never did look at the music staff to see if that's the actual melody of the song. She sounds like Anna Kendrick. I can see that, actually. And touch my parts. Uh, no thank you. I'm just gonna... She's so sweet. Yeah, she could have told him to fuck off, right? Today is gonna be a fucking happy day in <laughs> That lady in the tramp with the intestines. Hello? That was very Disney princess-esque. Yeah? Well, see, I told you, I compared it to, to Belle, right? Yeah. Like, was that a good comparison? No, that was, yeah. I agree. That was uh, interesting. It was like hard to like focus on like her because I was just like watching the background and like the chaos that was yeah. going on around her. It's it's well put together. Uh, before it came out, when people when it first got released, like there's a couple shots where like she's moving her hand mm-hmm. and it like kind of stutters and stuff, and her hand kind of like teleports, and people are like, "Yo, this is the animation that we got," and it's like the only error that like oh. anyone's ever noticed or that I've noticed at least in the show. But people were harping on it because it was like the first piece of footage that people oh. saw of the series. Yeah, no, my eyes did not catch any of that. When when I rewatched it, I can't help but notice like as as she reaches, it's like I can do this, Mm-mm. and just her hand just goes uh but yeah it, I, I like that song a lot and it kind of mm. gives you a good feel for it and it's really a lo- where was this in the episode this was in like the first half this was like oh. just maybe like four minutes into the first episode so like this was like the first musical number that we got mm. so uh yeah and it was a good one it yeah. was uh, even though it was the one i had actually like heard before uh before the show came out like i still like loved it and i didn't hear any of the parts where like the other sinners and stuff were singing along which i'm pretty sure that was a lot of the principal cast who is voicing some of the other demons mm, mm-hmm. like the guy with the nipples that you mentioned i'm pretty sure that was keith david oh who does voice who we hear will hear sing tonight um but i did want to pull up the second song in this episode so the second song we're going to listen to is, like I said, it's from the same episode, and this is, uh, to fast forward a little bit, uh, she has gotten a meeting with Adam, the, the Adam, Adam. Uh, who is voiced by, oh, what's his name? I, I'm blanking on some Alex Brightman, who you heard in the Hell of a Boss one, who voiced the clown Fizzarali. Uh, he played Beetlejuice on Broadway, and uh, apparently he was the lead in School of Rock on Broadway as oh, well, that cool. I didn't notice, which... 
I'll not Jack Black. <laughs> no, and I'll go into why uh, that's relevant to this here after this song. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, uh, but this is you know the second kind of this kind of the the action <laughs> i'm trying to think of what the term for it is it's it's not it's not like the i want but it's it's almost like a little bit of a villain song thrown in here a little bit so uh you're gonna get kind of get to meet and get a little bit of the flavor of one of the antagonists and this song goes like this almost out of time guess we should get into it that's adam yeah that's adam he sucks he's been a complete douchebag to her this whole meeting by the way if we rehab these sinners and cleanse all their souls at my has been hotel is she like pitching the yes. hotel I love that all of her drawings are like in crayon as well. <laughs> her eyes just like cross as she takes that breath in. Ooh, sketchy. It's rocking. Yeah. Also, I love kind of the transitions and the animation here, Ooh, especially like that. that one. Oh gosh. Who's that? Her name is Loot. She's kind of like his right hand. Oh. Don't deserve death. Are they you can kind of hear how he's like a huge tool, right? Just in his tone of voice. He looks so, like, evil and menacing. So you mentioned the Jack Black thing. Yeah. Here where he's going, Get that solo, fuck yeah! Wait a whole year to slaughter those little... I know it's the C word? Yeah. Ooh, that got. Yeah. That got metal. Get down so low, fuck yeah! <laughs> he scared me again. Okay, so um, so what do you think of Adam? I think he's a very likable guy. I think <laughs> he sucks so bad. I think um, he's gonna be on her side. <laughs> so uh, I mentioned about the Jack Black thing because he mm -hmm. starts doing like get down so low, fuck yeah. Uh, I mentioned I didn't know that he played the lead in School of Rock mm -hmm. on Broadway, That's and cool. I mentioned like oh I wonder if I wonder if they ever considered Jack Black for this role or whatever. And someone left a comment saying like oh Alex Brighton was was the lead in School of Rock, and I'm like. It all makes so much sense. It's like funny that I mentioned him. He was too busy doing Peaches. Pe no, oh okay. my god, I hate the Peaches. <laughs> Peaches was the worst part of the Mario Brothers movie. It was the smallest part of the movie It was as an, well. an absolute nothing. And everyone was like, this is so cool. It's like, he's been doing this shit for like, since the 90s. Just making making shit. He made that shit up on the microphone probably. They're like, we're going to put that in the movie. I mean... Um, but you mentioned that he was an angel, but he looked kind of demonic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it was one of the... <laughs> It was one of the, the first things I noticed when they kind of revealed his character. But if you think about it, in the Bible, like, demons are just like fallen angels, right? So it mm -hmm. makes sense that they look kind of similar. Because he looks, he's got the horns like the imps, mm -hmm. kind of, as well. So it's it's interesting that, like, you know, of course they would look kind of similar. Yeah. Um, and he is kind of also just a huge asshole. So he's pretty much, like, the most evil character we've met in the show so far. I mean, he was the first sinner. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned like about all the transitions and stuff. One of the differences between has been and hell of a is that in hell of a boss, like if you, I don't know how much you remember about the music, but it was a lot of people singing on stages. It was a lot of like performances oh, kind yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause all the music in hell of a boss is supposed to be diegetic. Like it's actually happening in the scene. Whereas mm -hmm. all of not all of the music, but most of the music in this is supposed to be non diegetic. So you get all the kind of the cool animation sequences mm. and stuff as, as it goes on. Uh, which I think is neat because it lets you do cool stuff like that and kind of pop off with the uh, the animation stuff. Yeah. Uh, so of those two, which one would you put above the other? I mean, probably the second one. I think yeah. it had like a lot of interesting like themes to it. Yeah. Like, I think my heart wanted Happy Day in Hell to be better, but mm -hmm. I think in my heart of hearts, it's uh, Hell is Forever is the better of the two songs for sure. Is it because the guy singing it? No, I'm Charlie saying this one as well. I also just love that she like is so in involved in her plan that she just uh, she has to like literally just <gasps> take a huge breath right in the middle of the thing and her eyes just like cross and she looks so goofy. I love it. So, uh, you will probably remember maybe that my favorite character from the pilot was Alistair, the radio demon. Oh yeah. Uh, so you want to hear him sing a little bit? Are you gonna sing? No, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing. How many times have I heard that voice? <laughs> Too many, actually. <laughs> um, but this is this is from episode. We've moved on now to episode two, and we're gonna meet some more of the hell 
kind of characters. Uh, specifically, uh, you know the song Video Killed the Radio Star? Mm-hmm. Episode 2 is titled Radio Killed the Video Star. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we meet the, the TV demon, I guess we can call him. His name is Vox. He is played by Christian Borel, who I'm unfamiliar, actually, with his Broadway roles. So if someone wants to leave a comment below letting me know what he was in in Broadway... Something you don't know? Yeah, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't look up any of... I don't want to say the more minor characters, because well, Valentino's kind of been a, a big piece of shit in some of these, but... Uh, um, yeah, this is a song from episode two where we get a little bit of radio and video kind of fighting, and this is... that His picture looks familiar. Christian Borel? Yeah, should but from do, like TV. Should I just do a quick Google? I'm going to do a quick Google. If you right click now. on it on the x-ray, it tells you like oh, you what click. the bounty you hunter... You click it. I'm learning oh, He was things. in Legally Blonde? Legally Blonde the musical. Black. I don't... I don't know what any of this stuff is. He's 5'9". He's little. He's short like Lucifer. Lucifer is like tiny, by the way. Spoilers. Five nine's not little. Well, Lucifer is is tiny. <laughs> he is a short king. Um, but yeah, so we are gonna hear uh, this song is called "Stayed Gone," and this is this is in contention. It's like top two for the first half of the season for me. So this mm. is this is a really really fun one. Okay. A lot of cool animation stuff, and of course the boy Alistair himself. Uh, and this song goes like this. That fucker's back. Yeah. I thought he was gone for good, too. Oh. Okay, so that's over. Vox. That's Alistair? That's Valentino. Oh. He's a big piece of shit. I feel like everyone's the running theme here. Being a piece of shit? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make you wish that you'd stay I like this kind of like... This vamp that's happening right here with the piano. I like his colors. Oh yeah, I love Vox's design. He's so cool. Is he a POS too? He just kind of sucks. He's kind of pathetic. Top of the hour, and we're discussing a certain has been who has been spotted cavorting around town after a seven year absence. Did anybody miss him? Did anybody notice? It's so fast. I like it. I like the background. Also, this whole bit is one shot, by the way. Like, it just keeps panning. Like, mm-hmm. it's all just one shot, but in animation, it's so cool. That's my favorite line of the song. Now his medium is getting bloody rare. It's so good. Salutations. Good to be back on the That's Alistair? Yes. Do they hate each other? Oh. Oh, I get it. Radio. There Oops. you go. I hit the mic. God, the animation is so fun mm-hmm. here, too. I just love the color. I think I like Alistair more. Oh, of course. Alistair yeah. owns. He's everyone's favorite. <laughs> I love that he blue screens for a second. Oh my gosh. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. Ew, it's a... It's a pentagram? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it's like... That bit of the song is like Hold so on. short, but there's so much in it. Is it? Oh yeah, this part's cool. That's so creepy. I love it. Okay, this one definitely is. The dial on the eyes. Wasn't that so much fun? Oh. So you see what I mean? How kind of pathetic he is? So one of the big things is that Alistair never, like, he never lets his smile down. Mm-hmm. And he, uh, like, no matter what, like, in the last episode I saw, somebody said something that I thought for sure was going to get him to drop his guard, but nope, he just, like, smiled and he turned around and he just completely owned somebody. And, and he's working like, with Charlie? Yes, yeah. he's actually doing a pretty good job so far, but it's, like, one of those things, like, you're like, okay, when is he going to kind of, like, when's he going to betray everybody? Mm. Is it going to be now? Is it going to be now? And it just hasn't happened yet. He it's, has his own agenda. Yes. He, he definitely has his own agenda, but we don't know what it is or anything like that. But, uh, and if you notice Vox, it just takes one small little, one small little insult to him and he drops his whole facade. Like he mm. also kind of puts on the whole big, like, Hey, I'm Vox and you can trust me with all of your needs kind of thing. Right. But as soon as one thing goes wrong, he's like, Oh, fuck. and he just like drops the facade. And it's like, that's kind of the, biggest difference between the two of them 
I kind of wish there was like some background, like da- I saw like dancers or like Can Can or like something like Chicago S, but it was just them, which was cool, but also like it would have been fun to see like more people involved. You know, there was a lot going on in the background. I I agree. I was just thinking earlier. Mm-hmm. You know, the the whole phrase with musicals mm-hmm. is uh, you t- you talk until your emotions get so big, then you start singing, and then when you mm-hmm. can't sing anymore because of your emotions, you dance. Right? Yes. There's been no real dance numbers in this show yet like you'd think there'd be some kind of musical break with some kind of choreography or something but nothing no nothing yet i don't know if it's just because you know each episode is 22 minutes so you kind of got to keep it somewhat concise but um yeah there's not been really any of that any of that group dance kind of stuff yeah which would be cool to see one or two i want to see some high kicks you want to see some high kicks some animated high kicks i do you could animate me doing some high kicks and it would actually look okay because it would be animated I can just see you on the bar doing hello, my... <laughs> hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, we got one more song to listen to. And this one, you've been spoiled on the melody a little bit anyway. Uh, so this this video Have should it? come out before my episode five reaction. And I, I've been doing character imitations to like plug my channel. Like, hey, join my Discord. Or, uh, you should join, join me on Patreon and get these early. You know, I've been doing the, the oh, voices yes. and stuff. So I've been yes, doing yes, a different yes. voice every episode. And I did a song parody for episode five. So spoilish for that when that comes out. But uh, Yeah, but I have like the memory of a goldfish. So <laughs> I couldn't tell you at all what it sounds like. So, uh, yeah, but I did it to this song for just like a tiny little bit. And uh, I probably won't pick it up at you all. You probably won't pick it up at all. But I'm not saying that yours was bad. You did last night <laughs> when I showed you. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> you did. Um, hey, someone has to be honest. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm just kidding. Um, someone, someone's, someone's got to plug my Patreon <laughs> and my channel memberships and everything. And it, it's not going to be me every time. Sometimes it's going to be, you know, a character doing yeah. it in my voice. No, I enjoyed it from what I remember. Because I remember all of it. You sure about that? <laughs> okay. Well, this is so we heard we heard Charlie, uh, we heard Adam, we heard Alistair, and now we're gonna hear uh, two of the other characters who were featured in the pilot. We're gonna hear Angel Dust. Okay. Uh, the porn the porn star. To me, it just sounds like the crackhead. I don't know. <laughs> Coming from me, the crackhead. That's is that what he sounds like? He had, well, he had to, in one episode they did like a little morality play, and he was playing the crackhead, but it was oh. kind of written. As if to say, like, here, you play this isn't guy he because like, you. It, isn't him and Alistair a thing? No, no, you're, you're just thinking of the one line where he's like, what can you do? I can suck your dick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, that was, like, so funny. <laughs> so. Uh, Is that who that was in reference to, though? Yes. Well, I, like, that, I remember that. That was, that. A, that was Angel Dust that said that, yeah. <laughs> Um, but he, he goes through it. Uh, the, the episode that this is from, that was also the one with like the kind of abuse stuff happening, which mm-hmm. is the song that, uh, not gonna launch, even though it's, it's a really good song. Poison is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is kind of the other, the bartender Husk, who Alistair kind of just manifested to like be the bartender. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's kind of like a grumpy old hates everything kind of guy. Uh, he's voiced by Keith David in this one. Uh, that's who him is, right there. Who is that? Is that a real question? <laughs> Keith David has been in like everything. <laughs> if you've ever watched a cartoon, he's probably been in it. Um, and then uh, the voice of Angel Dust is someone who actually doesn't have like any real credits before this. Uh, he is a relative. That's good. Unknown. I have like a, one hair that's sticking up in the back of every time I turn over and I just noticed. Um, but yeah, he's a relative unknown, but he apparently blew everyone away in the auditions and he's been a phenomenal Angel Dust. So this is a song from episode four. This is, I think... If it wasn't for Stayed Gone, this is for sure my favorite song of the show so far. Of uh, the whole the whole show? Yes, of everything. Uh, this song is called Loser Baby, and it is wonderful. It goes like this. So things look bad and your back's against the wall. You think your life is wrecked? Well, let me just say you're correct. What? <laughs> me to you. Also, you to me. <laughs> also, you to me. Oh my gosh! I did call you a loser one time on accident. At least you've never called me a power bottom at rock bottom. 
Okay, this is literally making me like cry. <laughs> From laughing? Yeah. Well, I guess you were gonna cry, I'm sorry. I just wasn't expecting that. Oh, we haven't even hit the best line of the song oh, yet. No. You'll know it when you hear it. I sold my soul to a psychopathic freak. <laughs> and you think that makes you unique. Who's he talking about? Valentino. Oh. The really shitty guy. His boots. <laughs> Baby, that's fine by me. <laughs> Ooh. I want to hear him sing like some like emo punk kind You're of stuff. A loser just like me. This is like a Valentine's Day song. Okay, here's da some dancing. They literally just go there. Oh yeah. He's little. Us. <laughs> Compared to. Okay. They got interrupted. Was that the best one? Yes. Like, I would want to listen to that again. It, like... That has been stuck in my head since I watched <laughs> that episode, like, a, little, a week and a half ago. Constantly in my head. I am so sorry if I sing that to you. It, like, from, like, the... the like. Sure, Jan. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that, that I think it's it's so damn catchy. It's so <laughs> fucking catchy. I just... I'm just literally sitting at work going... You're a loser, baby. Okay, why did I call you a loser one time? I was like, you're such know. a loser, but it, it, that's not what I meant to say. Like, that's so mean. It was mean, actually. You know, <laughs> but now, it now wasn't. Did you say that? <laughs> it wasn't what I meant. I meant to say, like, you're so handsome. Sure, Jan. <laughs> and talented. Sure, Jan. And, and you should, you know, not. I don't know. The song was good, though, right? It was good. Um, so did, I mean, we, did we kind of build up in goodness as we went, would you say? Yeah. So obviously I'm like at a little bit of a disadvantage because I don't like know why he was sad or like what was going on. But he, I feel like not even knowing that, I feel like I was still able to like enjoy it because it just yeah. was so uh, <laughs> The line, I'm a coked up dick sucking hoe, I yeah. think is the best line I've ever heard in a song ever. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. The, the one about the holes was pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> and I love how their voices work together. That Keith David's voice is so low and Angel's is like so yeah. much higher than his. They've done that a couple times in the show where they had someone with a kind of a lower raspier voice matched with someone who's just soaring up high. Yeah. I didn't show you one with a uh, Vaggy who's played by Stephanie Beatrice, who is a uh, uh, Mirabelle in Encanto, oh. the main character. Mirabelle. And she... She, when she speaks, she voice matches to her character in the pilot, mm -hmm. where she kind of talks in a lower kind of voice like this. But when she sings this one particular song, she's soaring way up here. Mm. And she's matched, she's duetting with someone who has kind of a raspier kind of voice in it. Um, and so it's just like a wild contrast. And I think it works really well. Like, my eyes are literally wet. I did cry. <laughs> Folks, she cried. It <laughs> happened. Yeah. Hey, this episode made me cry, too, a little bit. So. Oh, well. Um... I think for sure the last one was my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, like I kind of already forgot the second one. No. What was the second one? Hell is forever whether you like it or not. Yeah, that one Had at first was something, like. something, something, now they boil in a pot. Yeah, Get that so, solo, fuck yeah! Wow, wow! Yeah. Um, I kind of already forgot about that one. Like this last one just like. It just trumped everything. Yeah. yeah. That's, and hey, that's. And thanks for not, like, hyping it up for me, because I would have, you know... Like, you would have been like, yeah, it was good. No, I think I would have been waiting for it to, like... Because last time with Cotton Candy, so of, of the hell of a boss music that we did... Yeah, like, go half, watch that half, one, me, like, half, totally... Half just... the comments were, like, half the comments were, like, shut up, you talk too much during the songs. <laughs> the other half of the comments were, like, what are you talking about? Cotton Candy's, like, mid... I mean, you definitely hyped it up, but you didn't do that at all for any of That's, these. I so. learned from last time, folks. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see what else there is. How many more do we have? Well, I have gonna four, pick four more. I have four. I have three episodes to go now okay. at this point. Four on YouTube, and so I'm gonna finish the series and then pick another four from the the back half. Jeremy Jordan. <gasps> I like him. I will say to to look ahead. There was one song in the mm -hmm. episode I watched yesterday that I think was the best performance that we've gotten 
of anybody. Even though it's not my favorite song, it's easily the best like musical performance. So, the name is Jeremy Jordan. It's Jeremy Jordan and Charlie. Okay. Uh, so Erica Henningsen as well. Gotcha. What was like the runners at that you almost showed me but didn't? Today? Yeah. Poison, uh, which was another Angel Dust song, but like I said, it's like. He's funny and like with his dance moves. That song like... was not funny. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was really sad. It's about like abuse and how he shuts himself off. Like, there's a line in there. He I says, mean, he like, does, like, a bunch of drugs. And... I, did, I just... That was kind of the theme of this episode. Uh, yeah, don't... Yeah, it was, it was rough. I don't want to cry myself to sleep. It was... It was bad. It ended on happy... It ended with this... This song. The Loser oh, this Baby came song. afterwards? So, yeah, this was, like, really close to the end of the episode. So we at least ended on a happier, more hopeful <laughs> note. We really fucking needed happy. it. That's a happy note? Yeah, I'm a loser baby is a happy note. It really is. Yeah. They're losers together, just like us. Yeah, and the the melody that I did was like, I'm a YouTuber, baby. Oh, now I get it. I get it now. Yeah. It's coming back to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it was great. You should go listen to it. Go watch my video in it. Oh, no, my video's already... No. Wait. No, fuck. It was the episode five one, so watch that later this week when this comes out. Damn it. I don't know. Or if, I don't even know if where you're I'm already on the Patreon, you've already seen it because I put it up today as we're recording this. Yeah. Time is fucking weird, guys. Yeah. Anyway, you have any closing thoughts? Um Tell the tell the good people to like, comment, subscribe, watch my reactions. Sm- smash that like button. Smash that MF like button. <laughs> I don't know. Ring the bell. <laughs> don't do don't do crap, kids. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Don't go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus loves you. That's all I got. <laughs> You're a loser. (laughs) Bye.